Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to set up a Nifty and Bank Nifty market profile charts. I'm going to use Bell TPO tool over here. So I'll go to new, uh, file new and then uh, chart. From here I'll go and pick up Nifty future charts. So I'm using an uh, March month contract. From here I'll go and set up the value as 30 minutes and then days to load I'll make it like 75. The trading hours I'll make it as NSC, right? So pick it up from the default NSC as a template. And uh, I'm gonna press OK. So first thing that you'll be seeing here is like, I'll be seeing the candlestick charts on a 30 minute scale. This 30 minute scale is essential when you're using a well TPO tool because most of the market profile will be applying it on a 30 minute scale. And I'll right click and then I'll go to the indicators from the indicators, I'm going to pick up a Bell TPO market profile tool. So I'm going to use Bell market profile ultimate. Let me click on that. So by default on the left hand side, I'll be able to see the properties. When it comes to Nifty futures, right? I'll be using uh, the TPO size of two point TPO. So if I want to set a two point TPO in case of Nifty, right? So I have to use a uh, the TPO type so they have three types over here fixed ATR based and the price range based if I'm going to use fixed I'll be keying in 40 over here all right or if I am going to use a price range based uh, TPO type then it automatically picks up from the table table you can see it at the bottom so if you go and scroll through the bottom they have a range of TPOs it which gets automatically selected for example, if Nifty is between the price range 5000 to 3000, so it automatically picks up the value 40 over here. If it is Bank Nifty, uh, since the Bank Nifty range is greater than 30,000 automatically, and 100 is what I prefer to use, so 100 is what I'm going to set over here, so automatically it picks up 100 as a TPO size automatically. If in case, if the symbol selection is Bank Nifty or if any stock where the price range is going beyond 30,000, the 100 will be selected automatically. So if you scroll back up, what I will get? So I'll be, I'm gonna use a price range based. So if I'm gonna use price range based, it doesn't matter whatever is here. It is, if it is 20 or 40, it doesn't matter. Automatically picks up from the table, which I showed you some time back. Now the second one is like uh, the setting up the half back line. I prefer using, uh, so this is nothing but intra bar half back. So I prefer using a uh, white color instead of the traditional black color. So let me go and select the white one. And uh, followed by that, uh, the session block, I'm gonna keep it as it is. Value area, I'm gonna keep it as it is, the standard 70, uh, uh, 70 percentage as the value area size and the TPO calculation method I'll be using is TPO and followed by that i'll scroll down a uh, couple of interesting things i would like to add up so what i would like to add up is here is like the most important one is the charting background i prefer using the slate gray active background dark gray and then uh, followed by that the valley area color i prefer instead of a golden rod i prefer a lime color so here is the lime color and uh, also followed by that let me scroll down a bit so a lot more controls are here. Uh, some of the most important control is like the mid session line, which is nothing but the yesterday's half back. So I prefer using uh, two over here. So means last two days, wherever there is a half back, it will be showing me the uh, half back over here. So it's a previous day half back or a day before uh, half back levels. If in case, if you want to visualize the mid line is what you have to go and enable. And the look back days, I'm going to give it as two. And stronger ORR, I'll uh, keep it as a standard 30 itself. A double and triple mechanical reference, kind of, I'm going to disable it as I'm not going to use as of now. And the prominent point of control, I just want to know wherever there is a prominent point of control. So I just want to know where exactly it is. So for the last 50 days, any prominent point of control is there. I just want to see it. Uh, scrolling down, uh, any RP puck is there. That also I'm going to make it like 50. So any RP puck is there, which is kind of a short term reference. I would like to see those things. AB Pearl also more or less, I would like to keep it like at a higher limit, like 50 is the number I would like to keep it. So followed by that, uh, poor low, poor high, same thing. I will give more importance to poor high and poor low, you know that. 
and failed auction i'm going to keep it as a 10 itself that's a reasonable number because generally failed auction will be hold i mean will be monitoring only for the next five trading sessions so 10 is fine so if if at all any failed auction in the series i'll be able to identify very easily and likewise uh, gap up and gap down i can visually see it if in case if you want to have it you can have it in my case i prefer to disable this likewise gap down also i prefer to uh, disable it and g2 g3 i am going to keep it like in uh, 10 days itself because g2 and g3 is valid for only up to two trading sessions so it's okay to keep it like a, at a very minimal number uh, same thing goes with uh, open equal to high low and open equal to low low also and weaker point of control i'm going to also going to keep it like 10 itself so i think uh, that is the one thing uh, the tpo input block in my case i prefer using this tpo inputs as the standard thing which i as it presented over here the reason is we go with an optimal tpo size uh, traditionally in the market different people use different tpos for nifty and bank nifty but however we have a standard procedure for how to set up the tpo size so we go with an optimal tpo size so that uh, visual reference level get captured very clearly and uh, we give more importance to visual reference level at a very microscopic level so this uh, the settings is very very important so yeah so that i'll go uh, go and click and apply so i'm going to get the references for nifty automatically now once i done with nifty right it is going to be pretty easy for bank nifty as well so i'm going to done with nifty here i'm going to get all those references now you should be able to see that all those microscopic references very clearly like weaker references and uh, you should be able to see that weaker references over here right and you should also able to see that uh, kind of an poor high which is also on kind of an breakout failure failed auctions all kind of uh, reference level you should be able to see it very clearly at a very granular level right that is a very important settings Now, if in case if you want to reset the scale, you can always press the F, so automatically it gets rescaled. Now, the next important thing you have to do here is like you have to right click and then you are gonna save this as a template. Go to the template and click on uh, Save as. So I'm gonna give a name to that. I'm gonna say like uh, My Market Profile Template. Okay, this is the same thing. I'm gonna use it. So I'm gonna say like. Uh, I'm, I'm going to give a name like Bell TPO. Okay, I'm going to save this. Now it is going to be pretty easy to do the same thing with Bank Nifty as well. I'm going to show you for Bank Nifty. Let me pick up Bank Nifty here. So I picked up. So I should be using an uh, March contract. I'm going to remove the April. I mean the February contract here. Let me remove it. same settings everything is same now applying the template is pretty easy i just go and select the my market profile template bell tpo which we had created just now and uh, press okay so automatically all the template settings timing settings everything will get applied including the uh, indicator settings by default this chooses a 5 point tpo i'll tell you how because if i right click and then i'll go to the indicators i will be able to see that that fixed tpo size is 100 by default it picks up 100 you know from where it is picking up the from the price range based automatically it is picking up from the template right from the template it is automatically picking up so ensure that your template is in a proper order this the same format will be using only for the stock instruments for commodities and uh, currencies the tpo settings is going to be a little bit different So I'm going to show you one more example here. I'm going to show for one of the stock. Let's say I'm going to pick up something like maybe HDFC Bank. Let me pull up HDFC Bank over here. So this is HDFC Bank continuous contract. I'm going to select the template, my market profile template. Press OK, and that should be done. So only thing you have to ensure that here it is like 30 minutes. Rest everything uh, market profile settings will be done automatically. all right i hope this explains how to do the settings uh, for market profile and how to do the optimal tpo settings if in case if you don't have the optimal tpo settings still you can follow the template whatever the template module which i had given right so 
uh, that way you can able to easily set the market profile TPO settings for Nifty and Bank Nifty. Not only for that, any stocks in NSE or BSE, you can do it. Any stock futures or uh, cash instruments, you can do it based on this simple settings. Otherwise, if you are not comfortable with that, you want to go with a different type of settings. Uh, the indicator, they do support both uh, ATR based uh, TPOs, like kind of an uh, automatically adjust the TPOs to different volatile market conditions and fix a TPO if in case if you want a fixed style of TPO. Right? But as I said, uh, in my case, I always go with the price range based TPO settings for my comfort. Thank you. So see you in the next video with more interesting content. Thank you once again.